you will not be allowed to play him. Anyways, let's get right into it, everyone. Welcome to Encore Smashdown. We got TK1 versus... What's his face? We got, got TK1 versus Swigzy. Swigzy, you know, a lot of entrants today because, you know, a lot of people are back from college for the weekend, for the week. So they said, all right, let's pull up to your local Smash tournament. And here we got, you know, a, a match that happens a lot uh, every now and then. <laughs> And TK1 being the one to just to like take the ability. You got a down tilt S smash going on. And he's just gonna keep that Pikmin on him. Does he want to deal with the rage? I don't know. I thought Sam was just like, you know, you see a Pikmin on you immediately want to get that get that little critter off you. And Kirby can do that. Okay, there he's doing it now. Because you know, I was thinking like, you know, press A or something like that. I guess you want to like set up a ledge drop, but you can't really do that while Pikmin are on top of you, bro. And he's just chucking the Pikmin, letting them go. He does not care. He does I wonder, can Kirby make the Pikmin bud? Okay, well he has his inhale back now. I mean, and Swiggy is just trying to set up his own, like, really weird offense or defense. Oh, my God. Almost getting blown up, but then choosing to, like, that was very smart of him to, like, get the Pikmin off him so he can, like, traverse the sky very high, you know? But, uh, Swiggy, not a person who likes sitting on the ledge at all. Great parry, though. And this is still, like, you know, both of the players in the first stock. None of them want to give it up. I'm pretty sure, like, both of them are, could be knocking on Death's door. Especially, uh, Swiggy right now. Yeah, look at that. That's that cast from that far. And then that Nair also beating his up smash. That is insane. All right, trying to just cast him on the aggression there. Good F smash. And then the down tilt. Not getting the trip that uh, TK1 also always wants. A less trap situation. Getting back to stage. The blue Pikmin is now out of play. Good jab from Swigzy. And he's trying to just catch TK1, but he is not giving him any opportunities to get to get any kind of hit in. That back air, get, that Espinosa getting whiff punished by back air. That is wild, son. Not able to get a grab. And this nice down tilt to beating all of his buttons. You're going to get an up throw. Bada boom. And he's still living. That is a very, 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 very hefty man. Uh, I'm, I'm lying. Kirby's, uh, Kirby's thing is just not able to get hit at all you know <laughs> it doesn't kill but the f tilt will be the one that takes it jesus christ all right tk1 you got it so now we're gonna see like a very a very patient style tk1 come out where he does not need to interact unless you come to him the so swings are gonna try his best to get like any kind of percent on but look at his look at his puff ball bro floating away that's a hot air balloon just going just being gone it's like being you know not in the range of anything but he's getting slapped up by back ears every now and then it's, it's stuff that, like that that happens. It's okay. <laughs> you got to be careful, though, because I'm pretty sure, like, Swiggy is looking for any kind of hit, really. Like, or, or TK1 can go in and just get hit, hits of his own, get this cute little string going on, 27%, not a lot, nothing to write home about, but, you know, it's back to the platform. It's gone. He is gone. 43% on Swiggy now. My dude is still just, like, trying to find any kind of answer to, like, TK1's evasiveness. That combos? I guess it's an Olimar thing. Good back air. I think the tag and finally, finally TK1 losing his first stock. Right when a uh, uh, freaking Olimar is at 90%. Like, this is wild. <laughs> now, this is like, this is, I'm TK1, I'm still scared. Well, like, a little bit. I don't want to, I don't want to engage in Olimar because, like, you know, Olimar has some, like, ridiculously early damage, like, like, early percent, like, high damage strings. As well, like, look at this, double up smash. Now, if that was a purple, he'd be at, like, 50 and be, like, having to be scared of, like, getting, like, you know, down throw back or something like that. Nice. Oh my god, well he's off stage. What happened? Now I have to find an answer to something. TK Harrison actually what the fuck is his name? Uh Swigzy actually beating where the role was and just not getting the punish. But you know stage control is stage control is still his. Taking one onto the ledge, choosing to stay back. Doesn't need to like overextend at all. Does need to find a way to get in, but then these S masters just getting fly flown out at TK1. And a good forwarder will take the stock. Swigzy finding a lead of his own now. TK one has to be TK has to be the one to approach. And uh, Kirby when he's forced to just like you know run at you, not the best, you know. Nice, a good F two. And then like just not able to get that, but he's he is moving away. And still able to get these combos on. He's outboxing TK right now. Good 52%. TK is struggling to find this stock, man. Look at that back here. Clean. Big damage. And TK1 is like one interaction away from exploding. Good down tilt. Somehow, for some reason, being used as an anti-air. 
and a spot dodge F smash, the, t the Squig Z special, game one, after what was looking like a rough slate for him. Uh, Squig Z turned it around and was able to catch that. He's running it right back. Jesus Christ. Anyways. Anyways, so Battlefield is the name of this stage. I'm surprised that he can pick a stage like this. Uh, just because, like, you know, it's large, and if Olimar gets the lead, or granted, like, th this whole matchup really depends on who gets the lead first. And even if so, he has to, like, Kirby has to play, like, such a, like, super defensive and, like, uninteractive way to, like, just keep the game, like, you know, in his favor. Missing these edge guards is not something he wants at all. Able to keep the uh, onslaught going, though. So he's just looking for something to get some percent off. Able to swipe, get some damage going off. No, no, no damage going off at all, actually. What am I talking about? <laughs> and the dash attack? Not going to kill just yet. This big stage coming back to bite TK in the butt. And he missed the back air. But he still can detect chase. No swings he's going to roll. And well, didn't roll that time. And this is back up just slightly off the mark. You know, Kirby's feet, they got lead in them. They made a bricks, actually. Somehow he's able to fly because he's just like an you know, all powerful being. And he, right now, is actually, like, on the verge of actually losing his stock. Like, a, a purple back air will smack him out of here. Not even a back air. Well, okay, once a bud, like, well, once, like, the flower blooms, like, a back air, a dip percent one, definitely. A back air is going to kill him. But I think this up throw might just do it. Yes, indeed. TK1 takes the first stock. Game one. Go, game, stock one going to him. But this is just, like, how it was is in the last game. Except we now have a bigger stage for TK1 to play the no game. Like, you want to hit me? You want to interact with me? Nah, bro. I'm over here. I'm gone. Crouching under the up smash. Okay. <laughs> Let's go, Shane. <laughs> Kirby cheese, baby. We love to see it. We love to. We don't actually love to see it. But, you know, every now and then. Look at him. I love to see it. Sometimes. Sometimes it's nice to see people get cheese. It's funny. All right. Super low back here. Trying to get something going started, you know. But I don't know if bro can do it. Oh, God. Cody's here. And he's good dash attack. Good back air. My dude is keeping Swigzy on the ledge. I'm just trying to like get something started. And then the fair to keep the damage going off. Shane Freeze, I feel like an out of shield, like a very good out of shield option. Three stock still still sitting on three stocks. And Harrison went. Swigzy went high. Okay. Up throw on the top plat. That's going to do it, bro. But who kind of got rolled over? And the up throw finally going to do that. Taking his first stock. Sending him for a lion. Oh, my God. The damage is piling up. <laughs> 71%. Even though Shane is, even though like Swigzy's on his last stock, you know Shane is still not taking one, of his, knocking on Death's door. Good swat away just to get him off of that uh, the uppy. And the, he's getting like doing a good job getting the white Pikmin off him. Good job, spot the S mass. That's a Swigzy special. I'm telling you, bro, he keeps going for that. Uh, but no one, listen, no one like be, be wary of it. And not gonna even up till no, no combo break, no combo starter from uh, taking one. He's a, he's a down tilt oriented person. You know, you can tell what kind of tilts like a person presses based on like situations they see them in a lot. Oh my god, why was that what pulls out? Anyways, uh, Swixy seems to have figured something out. Uh, I don't know what it is. I guess it's just like, you know, uh, the pressure is mine. I'm the one in advantage. I'm the captain. So he's just, you know, keeping him back. 
Good catch. New, new to air dodge coming. Insane. Kicking one has now finally found the, uh, the fire that he wanted. You know, able to, like, finally get something going on. But now he's back on the lead still. Able to blow up some of his Pikmin. And that back air just delayed. Will catch it. Okay, Malik, you got your dubs. He is doing good right now. Oh, hey, I say good, but like, you know, it's uh it's not much. <laughs> not much going on. <laughs> TK1 is trying his hardest not to press any buttons on the man. He is running away. But he got a hit in, and maybe now he's going to press an advantage going on. But uh, with the up smash, that's definitely some way to keep it going. Good parry. But still unable to get something, get a punish going on. Good. Down so bad. Because most people expect, like, Tika want to go for, like, you know, multiple down tits. But he said, hi, hey, hey, check out this mix-up, bro. Um, and Kirby, like, ridiculously good boxing options. Which is half the reason why Tika want to stay in, like, just, you know, doing his best not to, like, get into his uh, Swigzy's face so often. Because, like, he has really good buttons, but he has to get into using Kirby, you know, not the fastest character in the book. Um, and also, like, Omar, in a weird way, outranges Kirby. But he cannot survive two strong-ass feet to the back of the dome. All right, I have to go play a match. Uh, this match will speak for itself.